It is important not just to begin the new year with the word of God, but also to determine to be in the world throughout the year. So to help you get more familiar with the Bible and better appreciate the riches of studying it, I have put together this extensive analysis which I want to quickly mention in this video. So stick around to know about it and how you can download a free copy today. This is Grace Tidings. Hello, my name is Williams, the young man whom Jesus loves and the faithful witness for Christ. Welcome to Grace Tidings, the platform for evangelism and discipleship. There is a brochure available for free download right now on Grace Tidings website. It is something that you will want to have as part of your Bible study toolkit. It is entitled The Extensive Analysis of the Bible. Among many other things, you will learn in the brochure about the source of scripture, that is how the Bible got to us. I included many not so obvious facts and figures from the Bible, as well as some Bible fun facts. You will know not just the number of books in the Bible, but also the total number of chapters and verses. It also tells you the total number of words in the Bible and how long it will take to read or listen to the entire Bible non-stop. Do you know that among many angels that appeared on the Bible scenes, we know the names of only two of them. Do you know what they are? The brochure tells you. You will also see the longest and the shortest names in the Bible. The goal of this is to help you get more familiar with the Word of God and hopefully, hopefully, stir up in you the desire to study it. You can download a copy and start using it today. I have included the link in the description of this video. The Bible is the book of books. Each book in the Bible has a beginning and an end, as well as a central theme. Sadly, many people just see the Bible as a collection of verses that have no connection to one another. No wonder many verses are often taken out of context. It took about 40 human writers over a period of about 1,500 years to write the entire content of the Bible. Many of these writers lived centuries apart, yet all the 66 books harmonized to present the central theme of the Bible, which by the way, is to give us the knowledge of God and lead us to salvation through faith in Jesus Christ. As a testimony to its influence and popularity, the Bible is the world best selling and most printed and translated book in the history of mankind. No other book is even close. The Bible is true and will always be true. That's because God has promised to preserve his words and we can count on it. In Psalm 12 verse 6, the Bible says, the words of the Lord are pure words, as silver tried in the furnace of earth, purified seven times. In verse 7 of that chapter says, Thou shalt keep them, O Lord, thou shalt preserve them from this generation even forever. Since God is faithful and always keeps his promises, we can forever trust his word, the Bible. We can trust it to be true and reliable. So what would you do with the Bible this year? Do you know? that the most rewarding time is the one that you spend studying the Word of God. That makes the Bible the most important thing in this world and in this life. So plan to make it worth your time. Approach the Bible this year with the mindset that 
It is the true word of God and not a bunch of human ideas. Study it, believe it, obey it, and pass it on. But if you are not saved or not sure about your salvation, you can believe today and be saved. Christ suffered and died for your sins so that if you trust in what he did for you, you will be saved. So admit what God says about you, that you are a sinner who cannot save him or herself. Your sins have separated you from God and you are heading for eternal damnation as the wages of your sins. But God, he has shown his love for you by sending his son to be punished for your sins. In 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 21, the Bible says, For he, God, hath made him, that's Christ, to be sin for us, who knew no sin, that we may be made the righteousness of God in him. Jesus Christ has suffered your punishment, so you don't have to. He shed his blood and died on the cross so you can receive the forgiveness of sins if you trust in his sacrifice for you. So believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved. Thank you for watching. Until next time, grace and peace be with you in Jesus' name.